All right. Let's fire, let's fire this thing up so that we can really get on with it. Wendell is anxious to open the fair. Look at him. He's just jumping, hopping in his seat. Uh, I feel like I kind of know a lot of you, but my name is Bruce Krentz. I'll be the MC for the night. Um, you don't have agendas on your table, so I'll just kind of tell you what's going to happen. Wendell's going to come and talk. We're going to ask the mayor to come and say a few words. We've got some words from Valet, United Steelworkers. Then we're going to introduce little Nick while well, we did that already. Let's do it again. Another round of applause for little Nick. Hey! It's really happening. Spring is here. Maybe summer's here. Uh, then we're going to do the toast, and Wendell's going to declare the fair open. And then party, party, party. So without further ado, he's the president of Nickel Days, like, forever. It's been a lot of years, and you never get out, Wendell. Once you're in, you never get out. Our president, Wendell Fitzpatrick. You got, you got hold both of those. Really? Yeah. I got, apparently, I have to hold both of these. Good evening, folks. Welcome to Nickel Days 2018. It's my great pleasure to welcome you here this evening and to also to introduce the board. Before we do that, there's a couple things I just want to mention to you. Um, first of all, when I introduce the board, uh, one of the members that isn't here tonight that has been at Nickel Days since long before I started is John Mascarene. He's in the hospital this evening with some problems. He's, he's on the mend. He'll be fine, and I'm sure he'll be with us again next year. The other thing I wanted to mention just before we get going is we've uh, renamed Gates, Nickel Days Gates 1 and 2 to the, Nick, to the Dallas Bray Gates 1 and 2. Dallas was a board member for many, many years at Nickel Days, and he always looked after Gates. And uh, he passed away this last year, so we thought it would be appropriate to, uh, to change the name to the Dallas Bray Gates. And I just want to mention some of our major sponsors. If it wasn't for the sponsors in Nickel Days, they definitely helped the fair. Um, year after year, we count on them. So the major sponsors this year are Calm Air, the Thompson Citizen, UCN, Ballet, Manitoba Liquor and Lotteries, the City of Thompson, NCI, United Rentals, Smook Contractors, Greyhound, Arctic Beverages, CHTM, Province of Manitoba, Shaw, Red Septic Service, Thompson Foundation, and Guardwine. So once again, thank you to all our major sponsors. And thank you, uh, Bruce, thanks for doing this for us for year after year. So I'm going to introduce the board. Would the board members, when I call your name, would you just please stand up? And would you stay standing until I've called every board member's name, please? They don't ever listen to me. Graham Brown, Tammy Burton, Ken Riolini, Jim English, Wendell Fitzpatrick, oh, that's me. Oh. Darwin Graham, Travis Graham, Jim Howitt, Conrad Hickaway, Ryan Keogh, Charlene Kissick, Mike Krentz, Melissa Meston, Joe Rock, Mick Slack, Paul Beck, Jen Thackeray. And we have two members that are helping us out as volunteers, Melanie Graham and Lona Barnowich. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Nickel Days Board. <laughs> they work hard all year so I can look good, and believe me, that's a tough job. So that's all I have. 
enjoy, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the boardroom for a, a refreshment, and we'll see you at the fair. Mm, you blew it, Wendell. Oh, no. You got one more to do. And you know, I wrote a note. Nick DiVirgilio. And the Lions Club. Sorry, Nick. <laughs> if it wasn't for the Lions Club parade, Nickel Days wouldn't be as great as it is. I got them all now. <laughs> oh, no, hang on. Hang on, there's one more. Uh, Dennis Fenske, past member. Okay, we're good. You're sure? Okay. And I, I kind of love that you sort of forgot my name because I mess something up every MC time I do something. So you, you took that one away. And I was hoping to steal that Dennis was a board member when you forgot, and you got that one too. So uh, next up, we'll call for some words from the city of Thompson, former board member, uh, His Worship, Mayor Dennis Fenske. Thanks, Bruce. Thank you, Wendell. Uh, always a great pleasure to be here uh, as a former board member, but also as a former recreation director and city worker. I want to recognize staff that's here, uh, Jenny Krentz, Angie and Jim English, former staff, Tim Johnson and Bruce Krentz, who neither we saw during nickel days. Um, inside joke there. But um, anyway, I just want to uh, note that it's interesting to see that uh, not uh, three or four months ago, in the big event that we hosted here, if you all remember, we hosted the Manitoba Games, a lot of the red shirts tonight had blue shirts on. And that's great to see that the volunteer spirit is continuing in our community. And that's the, the fabric of our community, is the volunteerism that we have and that we continue to have. And there's light, nice to see, as Wendell says, he's been here forever. Uh, I can w uh, attest to that, and as, as John has been, and we're, our thoughts and prayers are with John as well, uh, as he uh, recovers from his health issues. But in the same sense, it's nice to see the changing of the guard and the faces change uh, to those that are going to carry the torch forward for future nickel days and future events in our community. So that's uh, absolutely great to see the growth of this community uh, as the generations pass uh, the torch onto the, the newcomers and the, and the youngsters uh, who can go four days. We no longer can do that. It's a day and a half maybe. But uh, for, the mo for the youngsters who are going to be here for the next weekend, party on, it's a great weekend. This event is the biggest annual event in our community, by far, bar none. And it's noted across uh, Manitoba as a uh, well-respected, fair uh, celebration of our, of our community. We, all, uh, we always have, and it's to the credit of the board and the members, that we always present a quality program in our community that we can be very proud of. And so with that, I want to, again, acknowledge all of the board members and the volunteers that make it happen. Little Nick, enjoy your weekend. Make sure you take the selfie with them. Um, and also that uh, we enjoy this weekend, that everybody has a safe weekend. We do have some extra people to help us out being safe. So just a warning, don't drink and drive. Uh, and enjoy the weekend. Thank you very much. Super. Little Nick, you got to go four days. Dennis, speak for yourself. I can last a day and three quarters. You only gave me a day and a half. Come on, man. A little bit of credit. Uh, Warren Brass is here to make a giant announcement on... No. S some words from ballet. What announcement were you wanting? <laughs> uh, first off, I'd like to bring greetings on behalf of ballet. And uh, this weekend is uh, looking like the weather is going to be on our side for the change. It's usually raining most of the weekends uh, for King Minor when we hear either the King Minor contest or Nickel Days. Uh, it seems to bring the nasty weather. This, this year seems to look like uh, it's going to be fair weather. Uh, I'd like to thank, uh, again, the two honorary griller and, and honorary uh, King Minor that are, is not here this tonight, but Ted is here. Uh, thanks for participating in that. Also, uh, geez, Nick is here. He, we will continue to be a mining operation anyways, mine mill operation for whatever other announcement somebody was looking for. <coughs> Tim. <coughs> um, and again, just congratulate everybody who volunteers here. Uh, as, as, as Dennis had said earlier, uh, none of this can happen without uh, participants and volunteers. So uh, thank on behalf again from Ballet for that. Love that. Uh, without further ado, let's keep the Warren show rolling here. Uh, Warren Lukey, on behalf of the Steelworkers, give him a big round of applause. Thank you very much. 
So this is an exciting time for everybody. The uh, competitors are warming up for what's sure to be a great competition. So uh, by our accounts, this is the 46th uh, King Minor Contest that's been held. And uh, I want to say that I don't think there's any other event in the country that showcases mining like the King Miners Contest does. So I think that's something we need to be proud of and recognize. Uh, competitors will be tackling 12 grueling events and this is going to be no easy feat for them. I'd like to thank Paul Beck, who's agreed to chair the King Miner event, which is a, a, a large undertaking. And it's, uh, <laughs> right on. We have a setup team that's been busy all week, and we got a, a head judge, uh, Mr. Chuckery, who's going to be uh, watching the competition and keeping it fair and square. So Valet's donated a lot of equipment, a lot of time, and a lot of material to make this event uh, uh, happen and I'd like to thank them on behalf of the United Steelworkers. We also like to thank a lot of the businesses who have contributed to the event. We also like who all the volunteers who've dedicated their time to make this thing run and I'd like to thank everybody on behalf of the United Steelworkers uh, and the executive. Um, so now for the big reveal which isn't so big anymore. Uh, Mr. Ted Kirkey is the uh, honorary driller for 2018. Welcome Ted. <laughs> Ted, start, Ted started at T3 Mine in 1975 and 1978. He, he quit for a little while. He came back in 1981. Ted was a development minder, cage tender, topman, and hoistman. When Ted started work, he was with Lonnie Halischak at T3, and then he began to, to Birch Tree, where he returned and ended up retiring in 2010. Although retired from Valet, Ted still works in town with his wife, and who lives here with his wife, Susan. Please welcome our honorary uh, driller, Ted Kirkey. Okay, the honorary King Miner is Danny Douglas this year. Uh, Danny started working for INCO back in 1980 and he left for a short period of time to return later on. I think both of them had uh, that in common. They also both worked together. Uh, uh, Danny started in a refinery smelter and uh, he ended up uh, forcing a transfer underground. He worked with Ron, uh, Warren Brass right here for 14 years, so he's quite proud of that. Uh, he then joined the A-Team, uh, where he worked with Ron Stadnick and, and none other than our past King Miner, Mr. Uh, Brian Watke. So these were high ballers known as the A-Team. They drove ramps down in Birch Tree, and Danny worked in a porthole at T3 until he retired in 2015. Danny and Ted both worked together and with their careers underground. And I'm, I'm proud to present Danny and Ted for our true Northern Miners. Thank you. Uh, you want to just stick around? I think we're at the we're at the boot, eh, Wendell? We are, we are. All right, we're getting close. Uh, I'm going to ask Warren, Lukey, and Wendell to uh, Joe. Going to set you guys up. Maybe going to set yourselves up. Somebody make a bet. Okay. Uh, what did you guys say to What did you guys say to Joe? I don't know. Apparently, Wendell has served a couple out of the boot before. He's set himself up. I should, I should, <laughs> yeah. He pours them uh, bigger than Joe does. Warren. Well, it's okay, you can have a little bit. Paul will, uh, he'll just edit it out. It's all good. There's Joe. You roofied him. <laughs> All right. On behalf of Wendell and the board, I declare the fair officially open. All right. I think that's it, right? Make sure you eat all the food. Uh, take care of everything back here because we don't want to carry any of that out either. They're not going to kick us out. Right, Dennis? We can stay as, long, stay as late as we want. Oh. oh, for Ted. Oh, here we go. Before I forget, it's my first year. Mr. Ted Kirk, would you like to come up and receive your plaque? Congratulations, Ted. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. All right. If nobody else has a plaque in their backpack, 
Uh, we're going to get on with it. We'll get some tunes. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>